breast milk, which is appropriately known as liquid gold, is that indispensable path through which a newborn's entire life is shaped. It is a storehouse and also the primary source of nutrients and antibodies. Its benefits include a 73% decreased risk of sudden infant death syndrome, increased intelligence, decreased likelihood of contracting infections, and enhanced resistance towards diseases. But unfortunately, we as doctors come across cases where the mother's inability to produce enough milk poses a threat to a newborn's well-being. Some of the most common reasons are improper latch, not nursing and pumping enough to meet supply. Certain medications like OCPs, illness, dehydration and hypopituitarism associated with prolactin deficiency are also known. In India alone, 26 million babies are born every year and of these, 7.5 million are born premature. To get over these, the remarkable idea of Milk Bank was proposed. Human Milk Bank is a service which collects, screens, processes and dispenses by prescription human milk donated by nursing mothers who are not biologically related to the recipient infants. The first and foremost step in a human milk bank is convincing a healthy mother to donate milk. The milk is collected in containers. Method of collection and types of containers used vary among milk banks. Donors are educated about hygienic milk expression and are given sterilized containers. The collection process is done by suction method and the details of the mother and milk are recorded. The milk is transported as soon as possible to the milk bank. In the milk bank, the collected milk is transferred to sterilized steel containers for further processing of the milk. The incubator is set at a temperature of 62.5 degrees Celsius and the containers are kept in it for 30 minutes. The process of pasteurization takes place to free the milk from bacteria and viruses. After the incubation process, a part of the processed milk is put in ampules and sent to microbiological labs for further culture testings. The microbiologically tested and untested milk containers are kept in different refrigerators for the storage. The reports are screened and the tested and processed milk is further made available on request. Twenty percent of neonatal deaths could be prevented by breastfeed in the first hour of life. In a country where 40 out of every thousand infants die before the age of five, milk banks have come to the rescue. India registers 50,000 births every day but has only 14 milk banks. Given the high incidence of sepsis and a large burden of premature births, this intervention will have the potential to result in substantial savings for the nation.